Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is uh, Snarling Urn part 13. Last episode we fiddled around a bit with the uniform of the Swords Dwarf and we did some other things while waiting for goblins to show up. Um, it looks like um, equipment is going fine either way. But uh, yeah, I had an idea last episode. It's time I start creating a uh, indoor shooting range. And um, I'll need to, well, start digging out that. Also, I'm still working on these extra parts up here. But, um, well, a lot of wood cutting still needs to put it on the right side of the map here. Although, here, some other channeling can be done. Until here. But, uh, that'll be done pretty soon. Pretty fast. Uh, also, hey, it's gnome time again, apparently. You know what? <laughs> Let's, uh... That's in the military here. Um, okay, these two are my Marks Dwarf squads. You all go here. And my melee squads, you all go here. Go defend my force before the gnomes get in and steal all my booze. I'm already getting shot, I think. I don't want any gnomes in my fortress. This is a dwarf fortress, it's not gnome fortress or no more, yeah? That's a completely different game. Um, doesn't look like they're attacking normally. Well, you know what, CD&E? You kill from a list. Uh, CDE. DE. F. Oh, fuck. Um, wait, 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 wait. Press enter way too soon there. Okay. Uh, C D E, yeah, D E F G H I J, enter, kill all the gnomes. They are pretty weak anyway, and uh, that will give my dwarf something to do. And look at them run. See, do we focus on one or two of these little bastards? Let's take a look at the reports also when they're done. But, uh, yeah, they're <laughs> the gnomes are fleeing now. Um, well, this is taking some time. Let's take a look at the gnomes. Here, uh, his sword door is attacking the gnome using his bronze short sword. Um, he's been lodged in firmly in the wound. He stabbed the gnome in the heart. That's quite a feat. Must be a pretty small heart, I think. Uh, hacking it over and well, nothing that special, no tongue slashing this time. Uh, here he just stabbed it in the skull. And <laughs> this hammer dwarf hit it once with the silver ha war hammer and yeah, smushed its brain. That's what you do with gnomes, smush their brains. Um, okay, while well, these guys are doing this, uh, the order should be done soon enough. Also, uh, you and you can go back to normal patrols. And once the, all the, dwar uh, the gnomes are gone, these guys will go back to the normal patrols as well. Hey, there's one here near the entrance. The little bastard. Uh, he'll die soon enough. <laughs> or he'll outrun my military. Well, whatever. Uh, in the meanwhile, we are going to move on. Uh, First, I want my miners to well create, smooth these, these paths out a little bit, so there is less places for enemies to enter my fortress or get near. Um, and that should be a pretty quick order for my miners, but well, this is probably a priority order anyway. Now here's already a miner to remove those walls, remove those up ramps. So the kill order still going? Yeah. How many gnomes are there? There are still a couple. And also there's the thief. Hey, maybe it's um, ambush time then. It's, uh, what year is it? 257 Life to Autumn. I need to know the goblins are way faster. Don't seem to be anything here. Now, is the still gnomes on the map? Yeah. 
Well, let's ha let them hunt after the gnomes. Uh, here, the paths are as good as gone. Gay, oh, gay. That wasn't what I meant to say. Okay, was the what I meant to say. Um, let's now create an indoor arena. Um, slash shooting range, which shouldn't be all too deep. That should be deep enough. Um, you know what? Here is a big room. Um, with much, much else in here. Yeah. So, in here, I'm going to create a big animal stockpile. Don't even have any cages yet, but for now, this can be the animal stockpile place. Also, we're going to dig out a little bit because I don't want this to be near to my staircase. Here should be fine, and here let's let's create a bigger room. You know what? Bigger room. Something like this, yeah. And uh, maybe make multiple paths towards it. I should be able to close it off. So no, I'd rather have this one path to here. Will be getting maybe a little bit crowded at times, but uh, that will be work out. Um, that'll work out. Also, in the middle, um, let's start the middle here. Yeah, uh, let's remove this tile for a while or channel it already. Um, let's make a square hole in here. Um, now, this goes around it. Yeah. The middle of the pit here will be our um, where we throw the, the goblins into, where they will we'll be shooting at, um, so we can shoot at it all from all sides. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a plan. First, though, this will need to be dug out before I can do anything else. So, waiting time, pausing time, whatever time. Oh, I just got an idea. Uh, since there were some more puppies born, I actually have some dogs, some war dogs, which have grown by now. Yeah, and uh, well, we could make some war dogs out of them, so let's do that. Um, here, this zone is the pasture. Let's make sure this is also an animal training area. Let's do some animal training. Um, now it would be best if I had a good animal trainer, so let's look in the dwarf therapist for that. Uh, let's put it to nothing. Look at the best animal trainer we have. Well, this is this guy. You are now the official animal trainer of my fortress. And uh, the other dudes, you can forget about that. I'd rather have one very skilled dude do that because, as with everything, having skill helps with Dwarf Fortress. Um, so you are now the premier animal trainer. Okay, um, also what happened here? A cloud of soot, yeah, that's okay. Um, with that said, we need to start training those dogs, and that's it with the animal menu here nowadays. Um, uh, probably need to go down, yeah. And, uh, I already made pets out of the starting dogs, so I'll have those, those who shouldn't be war trained. Oh, one second. Yeah, that was another burp pause. Um, let's see, you, let's set the trainer to you. First we're going to find them all, uh, so they're all under the uh, animal trainer. You know what, I should put it on war training anyway. You also get war training. Like this. Um, let's see, there's some war dogs, not available to you. Animal trainer, we, <laughs> we, <laughs> T and W even, uh, train, W, uh, I wouldn't need to set these trainers, but now I'm sure that uh, only the best trainer will train these dogs, and that should help, I think. E and from here on, it's probably all puppies. Okay, so 
Now, animal trainer, you should start training those dogs in this area. And uh, you don't need a kennel anymore. Not a cloud of soot? No, it's the dwarven out caravans. Okay, that also works. But um, let's see if animal trainer actually starts animal training. What is he doing? He's storing items in the stockpile. You know what? You are hereby relieved from hauling and mining. You should go train those animals. Um, and also, since the dwarves are here, they probably have another big load of leather. Let's move some goods to the depot. Um, now, with the craft, should have lots more bins in here. Yeah, it does. Um, but these are close anyway. And what? Let's enter our way down. Not that much as I hope, but there's multiple bins in here anyway. And I think a lot of problems should be fixed with this. Um, let's see what Elmo Trainer is doing though. I'd like him to start training those dogs. Why is, are you black at the screen? That's sucky. Um, oh, you're already here. Yeah, he is training a stray dog for war. And uh, that should give a status message at the bottom here soon enough as well. Since he's pretty much trained, it should help. I think the icon changed, so it should have been done. No. Hmm. Let's give him a little bit more time. There's this is a different dog from the other dogs, I think. Hmm. Well, it's, you can't train a dog in a day, I guess. This takes more time than I expected it to do. Still on the same tile. And yeah, what I was going to say earlier, you don't need kennels anymore. Kennels are only for uh, other training jobs nowadays. You only need a zone. I think he's done. Uh, yeah, here an animal has become a stray war dog. So I have one war dog now and... The rest should be trained as well, and uh, well, the puppy stockpile is rather big at the moment. So, this will this grow. That's nice. Also, still no extra turkeys yet? No, but there are still hen eggs in there. It takes a long time. Um, anyway, how are things doing here? Not done digging yet, but almost. Also, I apparently uh, had some animals in that animal stockpile probably stole all, all these cages and stuff from the elves there's cougars, black crested gibbon, a dingo uh, a mahogany cage with probably a uh, stray horse corpse probably wasn't fed a leopard, a pangolin, what the hell is a pangolin? that's a pangolin cage uh, a small mammal covered in hard scales what the hell's a pangolin? I have no idea. I'll have to wiki that, I guess. And there's a river otter. Fortunately, no breeding pair. If I had like a breeding pair of um, of cougars or leopards, that would be very nice for my hunters to have. Those make very good animals for, for training. Fortunately, the elves didn't bring those. Um, oh well, that can wait though. Um, so. The right part of here is almost done. You know what? Uh, I'm going to do a couple of things in the bottom here already. First, let's remove basically all the walls here. Uh, keep a couple here at the top, which I'll remove later. And I'm going to build a platform here because I want a bridge to this platform, which we will be able to raise. Um, like this should be fine yeah let's place some walls here uh, make them out of some blocks which are the closest blocks I have lots of micro coin I stopped my block forging it didn't I yeah I did well make out of cobaltite looks nice at least um fast enough you know what we'll also start making some more blocks you are well, you still on the order from here of course yes you are but you're almost done I uh, gotta wait until it's done it's probably better um, that's why I stopped the block forging 
Uh, also here on the top level I'm going to create some more walls. Uh, well, not there. No, and not walls. Here I'm going to create fortifications. Um, something like there are those walls here. They will be. Okay, these out of um, lots of things. That's wood also. I'll get it out of marble. It's also fluxed out, but will work fine. Um, and uh, I'm going to create fortifications like this all around the place. So when we're back, that should be done. Since uh, it's pausing time. Okay, some time has passed, and uh, well, I've built all the used walls, and uh, the middle one has been done. So uh, let's place the bridge already. This will be the entrance bridge. Um, make it raise this side. Uh, where should we make it out of? Um, maybe another blue one. Well, there's enough cobalt tides around. Let's make another blue bridge. Also, I forgot to place ramps on this level. Um, let's do that. Let's make some upward ramps here. Also make them blue out of cobalt tide. Should have more than enough cobalt tide around here. So later on we can start placing monsters in this area. Um, you know what? We can also get out all the crap. If we make a garbage dump here and dump all these items and uh, well that need to, we will need to continue also that bridge will need to be hooked up to a lever um, well let's build a lever for that bridge on this level or no, no it's lever should also be always be in a safe level so we're going to build it here on this side this lever setup is getting a bit complicated now but oh well I'll remember which lever does this this is for the top bridge this is for the south bridge this is for the bridge in the west for the for the traders and this one will be for the arena um, also editing here seems fine um, so engraver you should be engraving are you done with this level yes you are Okay, um, you know what, engraver? It's time we engrave this room, so we'll get much more happy tasks from that. And same from this room, you know what? You can also place some extra gold statues in here, we should have more than enough. Um, yes, we do. Let's place a couple in here before it gets engraved. Uh, there are two there too. Same on this side. And they should place these statues before the Yale area is engraved, so that should help. Um, okay, back to the arena. Oh yeah, if you also noticed, I've placed some cage traps in between here, so normal cage traps. Uh, made them out of normal materials or terrible terrible quality mechanisms even uh, this is an uh, the fail safe yeah that's the word uh, if something happens and they do break out then uh, this will be the fail safe those those cage traps over there um, also walls here still being built and looks like the dumping is going on from the lower level and they seem to prefer that to doing normal construction jobs, unfortunately, but oh well. Um, in due time, also still this stock stockpile over here. Uh, other things down here, these are still filled. These are still doing their job, still creating lead bins, war hammers, maces and discs. How many of those do we have yet? Um, well, first, let's take a look here. We do have 99 copper discs now. Good. And 40 of the hammers and maces. Well, let's start building some more traps with that then. Um, yeah, like down here. We're going to build some weapon traps. Ah, that's too close to the edge. Damn. Um, well, I'll fix that problem with some walls then. Um, first of all, 
cut these trees. Oh yeah, also here I did some extra digging and this is almost done. Yes, it is. Let's remove those stairways so no one can get in. Also some extra platforms are being placed. Um, let's use some extra walls here so we can make sure the enemies go over it. Oh, the wall here is still too close to the edge. Okay, 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 okay. Um, we'll just do it with channels. If we can't channel there, which we can't build there, we'll just do it like this. And you know what? Let's forget that trap line for now. Let's start here in the north then. Um, I'll need to do this everywhere anyway and can do most of this off screen. Let's build some traps here with very high low qualities. Um, this one is very high quality also. I'm uh, creating some extra mechanisms at the moment. And uh, I do have a lot of those and I do have a lot of those things. Um, let's see, I have 99 of those copper discs. Um, and maybe like 30 or 40 of those war hammers. Well, let's just put in 8 copper discs. And one of these others. Yeah. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, counts it itself, and the mace and the warhammer, done. Uh, same for these ones. Let's make some mechanisms. Uh, eight of the copper discs, warhammer, and the mace, done. And the same thing here. And the Warhammer. Well, that should work out. And I'm going to do th the same thing to all these other little wooden platforms. And um, that should help a lot with my defense. Lots of goblins should walk over them since they're stupid. And uh, they'll help out. Okay, but I can do the rest off screen. Uh, first, let's look. Uh, take a look at the arena. Still not done yet. Um, well, probably some of these are yeah cancelled. Well, I'll have to figure that out and uh, maybe do build some of them since yeah, this one's being stupid. He's standing on the same tile. Or, oh, uh, there's also people coming out of here and that's why the order is cancelled. Yeah. So, you know what? This should fix that problem. Um, but anyway, I'll need some more time off screen. Oh, uh, another thing I wanted to look at is my mechanisms or my mechanisms. Mechanics, yeah, that's the word. Um, uh, because I should focus on creating high quality mechanisms for those weapon traps. And I don't think I have done that in the past yet. But, um, well, let's see. We do have a list of mechanisms. And some of them are very good. Like this is a level 11 and a level 12. Uh, what's the level 11 guy? He is a great mechanic. So, we're going to use that workshop changing order again, also that's comments on one of my videos. Uh, here we're going to change the workshop profile. Um, change the minimum to, to near great. You know what, level 1 level will be all great. Accomplished. Yeah, that's the minimum needed. Same for this one. Accomplished. And for this one as well. Okay, that should give me high quality mechanisms. Problem solved. Um, also, I don't know if I mentioned this on video already, but I, I um, traded with the traders already. I got a lot of leather and more iron out of them. So, that trading is done. Um, okay. Ah, this is getting closer. Of course, most of these walls are cancelled, of course. Um, and why isn't the bridge made yet? It needs architecture. You want you... Let's check if you have architecture. Well, you do have it now. Uh, oh, the woodcutters are without a job, so they're also done. Oh, yeah, because the paths here were also done. Um, yeah, they are as good as done. Um, so let's cut some cut down some more trees because well we have war with the elves anyway we killed already killed some of them um, 
Let's cut down all the trees in this area. Clear cutting for the win. Um, yeah. <laughs> now here, this should uh, be done soon enough. Uh, not soon enough for my liking. So pausing time. Okay, that took a while, but this is finally done. The bridge is built. So now these two ramps can be removed. And I will be able to close this off with another fortification. Now, uh, well, if I had some enemies, which I don't think I do, I could place the cages here. Um, I could try and kill the pangolin, whatever it was in here. But I don't think it's that necessary. Um, what, what, just to clear out my cages, we're going to put some enemies in here, some, some animals in here and shoot them. No idea what the pangolin is still, but it's going to die soon enough. Also, uh, the black crested gibbon. Also, river otter. Fuck all those. <laughs> We're going to build them in here. And uh, I built a little lever in here, which will need to be made to uh, connect to that. Uh, also, finally, that rock coffer order is done. Good. And that's all the uh, melee. Or lady commands them. Yeah. Whatever commands are done. Uh, for the noble commands. Those are done even. So now I can go back into block production. Which should be very helpful. Um, also I set my miners to mine some more down here and down here. And oh yeah, these are the gold walls which are finally done. And uh, the tomb of the baron. Uh, is, he, is he already dead, the baron? Guess so, this is his resting place. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that's our babbling baron. I guess he finally got killed himself uh, one day. No idea what killed him, and it's probably long ago now, but oh well. Um, while we're at it, let's dig out some more. Just some rough placements with the mouse. Um, looks like there's some more over here. That'll work out fine. Um, so here, you know what, I'm going to change the F4 hotkey. Uh, this isn't that necessary anymore to focus on this level, so let's focus it here. It's on the same level and close to this anyway. Um, yeah, okay, the wall's done. Uh, are those cages placed yet? No, they are not. This lever is not done yet. So I should build the lever again since I also placed some extra cage traps outside and this will make it so the lever will be placed first because I don't have that much mechanics because yeah here I made some extra cage traps beneath the row of weapon traps and that's how we'll get enemies um, to shoot at in the future um, it looks like my mechanics are not doing much qua creating new mechanisms Oh well, uh, one day they'll be done with um, placing all the traps outside and then um, they can do the indoor stuff, they can make, make more mechanisms. So, um, would be nice though if those cages were hold in that one lever was done so I can uh, demonstrate the shooting room here. Uh, that's, it. that's one cage. That's probably the otter. The other ones will be here soon enough. There come the other two cages, and now it would be nice if also a mechanic showed up to do its job. Oh, you know what? Also, I can claim this tile again. My miners can use the marble, where my uh, other things can use the marble. Oh, and another thing I almost forgot. I do finally have the option to create. Oh, I had the option to create big iron bars. Where'd it go? Huh. A second ago, when I was checking this, I had the option, and now it's gone again. Weird. Hmm, maybe... Well, I have no idea. Um, also, a problem here is basically this stockpile... Yeah, it should take from the other stockpile. Um, no. You will take from this stockpile. 
Maybe I should make you a little bit smaller because this is pretty big. That's enough. Um, yeah, that should be enough. Now, take a look here. That's all these cages built, placed. I hope you're going to create that mechanism, that lever. No, you're not. Um, someone going to construct the ladder? Should have enough mechanics. With, um, well, hard to tell. Uh, well, maybe if I queue over that. Doesn't seem like it's active, but it is the last built mechanical thing. So it should be first in the list. But yeah, dwarfs. Because when the lever is done, I can use that to open the cages later. Um, the lever on this level should be done though, and it is. You get hacked up to the rough cobaltite bridge, and out of, I'm out of trouble mechanisms. Well, that'll work. Um, so yeah, those two mechanic commands need to be done. Uh, don't know what you're going to do with that bin. Probably a food bin, I think, since there's a little bit of food somewhere left here. Um, yeah. Okay, but uh, well, now it's waiting time again. Uh, lots of mechanic, mechanic orders, mechanist orders, whatever orders uh, need to be done first, and uh, yeah, need to wait for that. So pausing time. Ah, the lever is done, and uh, the bridge is being hooked up. Also, let's hook up this lever to those cages. Um, that's C B T J. A J and well here let's add it to oh. fuck I'm going to use my high quality mechanisms for this we can't do that um no no I refuse to do those use those quality me mechanisms I'll make more in the future but oh well uh, you know what we'll need more low quality ones and more high quality ones uh, so we're going to make some more metal smiths places. Those at uh, the one level will stay the same. Those at this level can do not make it out of ash. Uh, those at this level can do low quality mechanism things and make it out of some type of well, wood is fine as well. Um, let's make three of those and let's give a big order of extra mechanisms to be built. I also gave the mechanics um, mechanic skill to a lot more dwarves, so that should work out. And like this, I should have a nice mix of high quality and low quality mechanisms. The ones I build here will be low quality, and the ones I will build on this level will be high quality. So that's a good thing. Um, so well, we'll need to for all these things to be done now. Need to wait for that, and um, well, here comes the wood. That should go soon enough. Yeah, but uh, pausing time again. Also, so far, we're, how far are we now? It's 2.57 midwinter. Still no sign of the goblins or elves. But uh, we'll see. Pausing time. Hey, something of note happened. The weaponsmith has been possessed. Let's see uh, what happens with him. He will probably claim a workshop soon. Yeah, there he goes. And uh, hopefully he will able, be able to start his construction, otherwise he'll have to uh, remove him from his burrow again. Just like the last time. It's a bit annoying. And uh, he's not moving, so yeah, that's probably the problem. Also you, um, you go further creating lead bins. Okay, um, but yeah, now you're in here, now you're weaponsmith. Let's do the same thing we did last time. Uh, let's rename you Weapons Nipped Mad 2, so I can find him easily enough. Uh, check the Deep Forging, bo forging Borrow. Uh, there's Armor Mad, uh, Weaponsmith, Weaponsmith, Weaponsmith. Did I not save the name? You. Weaponsmith not mad too. Yeah, you are there. Okay, now this list. Weaponsmith. Weaponsmith. 
Weapon Smith. Why isn't he in here? Or maybe it's the new Weapon Smith which I have never added to the bureau. In which case, he isn't in here. Yeah, and he shouldn't have any problems. Huh. Or have you started your construction already? No. What is the problem then? I should have everything. Bars of metal, cloth, thread, bones, yes. Gems shining. Maybe gems. I should also be cutting gems and uh, block predicts. I have everything and you're not in the bureau, so what's your problem, dude? Um Hmm. Let's take a look. Well bones are should be no problem. There's bones here. Little snake tooth, uh, teeth even. Um down here there's even uh, a skull. Maybe there's not enough bone at the moment. I also gave an order for cutting gems here, should be working out. There's no one actually cutting the gems though. Let's take a look at my jewelers. What are they doing? Uh, I'll have his nickname is fine for this. I should have multiple gem, gem setters and multiple gem cutters. There's a jeweler and gem cutter. Also, I don't want any low quality ones. But you, yeah. Jeweler, bone carver, get cutter. That's a typo, but oh well. <laughs> um, that should all be fine. You know what? You should all be doing from hauling. And uh, someone commented this. You can right click, toggle hauling to turn it off all <laughs> immediately. And that's something I didn't know. Okay, those dudes should be cutting gems. Um, also, I gave some orders for some animals to be slaughtered anyway, since I don't have enough fat for. Um, for making soap so some animals should be slaughtered soon enough anyway and that should create any bones since there's like an, an ox in there and yes since there's the dude actually actually going to wax archery practice oh well <laughs> the cutting should happen and the bones should be brought inside also I never did extend my staircase until this level. Oh well, uh, this is still the only way for my dwarves to get into the fort, but... Ah, that's fine. That's, um... Uh, you know, uh, it will go faster, and I'm thinking of it now, I need to do it. So let's build upstairs over this, uh, use some nice quartzite blocks for that. that will work. Uh, make some up downstairs over this e these guys, even. Of course, the I noticed earlier that the yeah butcher shops are I think both over this place. Yep, both are over it. Um, well, then I'll have to create some new ones. Um, that's you. Let's make sure it's just to the left of here. That will work out. Uh, you know what? Let's create three of them as well. And then, well, then these two can be removed. And after they're removed, I can fix the, the staircase so the doors can get there easier. Um, okay, that should work out. Uh, how is mechanism making going at the moment? The shum should be done. Also perfect English. Um, let's see if I can hook it up. There's still not much mechanisms. Oh yeah, by the way, the pangolin, I wiki wiki that. Apparently, a pangolin is um, some sort of armadillo-ish thing. This thing. I have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, it's not something that would live here in the Netherlands. Uh, where do they live? We are far off away from the Netherlands. <laughs> so yeah, pangolins. Um, but back to Dwarf Fortress. And um, yeah need more time to go by and need more mechanisms to be made and uh, that can wait so <laughs> looks like the shops exploded here oh well I can do that and now then uh, let's build some just down stairways will be enough uh, or D on this screen and J on the other screen uh, 
on here it should be fine like this make them out of quartzite but remove the middle one sure okay um also we're 40 minutes in and we're still not able to test the shooting room yet the uh, arena arena slash archery practice room whatever <laughs> um, but uh, yeah we're going to pause for that and uh, some mechanisms should be done soon there's actually some mechanisms here mechanists making mechanisms so see you guys in a second okay um, the levers are nearly done but hey this option is back we can finally make some pig iron and some steel bars again so I'm <laughs> creating that want to have that on video um, so here uh, this is getting closer to of the uh, things or now one and a half already hooked up but I, when I think this one is done it should be close <laughs> oh and uh, I'll be back when he is done with the third one so we can open the cages okay it's finally done let's uh, let's start shooting some animals um, well first of all let's raise that bridge and we connected it to this one and this one should be done as well um, so let's get those there and also let's get in my marks towards uh, you move over here you move over here and the bridge is already raised good well you know what let's pull this lever as well and then uh, all the animals should be set free also it looks like I caught some domes already but, uh, yeah, it would have taken way too long to also hook those up because it's going pretty slow at the moment okay cages are opened up I think these yeah these are all tame so <laughs> they won't normally fight like this but uh, there's way around, ways around that like um, well let's do that already squads are here if I select them both, use the K, then uh, use a rectangle to attack. Put them all in the rectangle. Enter. No. Ah, oh, they won't do it because they're tame. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Um, how about just K kill that dude? No. No, he, w he won't kill them because they're tame animals. Now they're just free. Uh, oh well. If the I would have put the dark gnomes in here, they would have fired up on them. It's because the dark gnomes are hostile enemies. For now, though, this has uh, been pretty useless. And uh, well, I'm not going to. We're at 40 minutes. It will take ages to to fix this. So um, oh well, it will take ages offline anyway. Ah, okay, okay, I'll pause the video and we'll set up some dark gnomes. Oh, or not. <laughs> Finally, we get some action. A foul force, vile force of darkness has arrived. Let's see what's here. Um, um, should that be shown at the bottom here? No. But also, we're 40 minutes in. Um... Hmm, what is here? There are some goblin swordsmen. Okay, um, and it's a siege. What the hell was that? Oh, they have a jabber or something, I think. Yep, a jabber. Which is a huge monster, which can hurt my dwarves pretty good. But you know what? I'm going to save this for the next video. We're 40 minutes in, and yeah, this siege will also take some time, so, uh, <laughs> this is it for next this episode. I will call this episode the um, shooting range one, shooting range episode or whatever. And uh, next episode will finally deal with a siege. So uh, I'm going to record that right after this. So uh, I'll see you guys later.